Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Yo, I just left the motherfucking store, man. I'm heading home, man. But this is a non-boxing talk uh, topic, man. So I got I got a hoop on this real quick. So peep game, man. Um, it's come out that this Erica Mena chick from uh Love and Hip Hop, you know, she said some real disparaging things about the Jamaican sister calling her a blue monkey or whatever, man. First off, it's time to let go of Love and Hip Hop because in all actuality, that shit ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with hip hop. It's not conducive to the culture, and I ain't talking about just the entire culture. We're just we're just talking about from the musical standpoint of things. It's not conducive to hip hop culture, and it's really just predicated on ratchet behavior. Don't nobody watch that shit to check for the next artist that's coming out big. No, they're looking for the drama, which I don't see any you know too much entirely wrong with it. You dig? I think you know life is about balance. Sometimes you just want to go and feed your negative side, like fuck it. Let me feed this shit here so I ain't got to take that, you know, get ignorant and negative on another motherfucker. I can get my negative dosage from watching this disgusting and disparaging bullshit and keep it pushing. But it's just really time to let that shit go, bro, because a lot of this shit, the only one that's really made it big off of love and hip hop is Cardi B. And she's not even black. And look at how ratchet she is when it comes to represent, you know, being a part of a culture that's supposed to be a representation of us. When she goes over to the Latin Music Awards and all that shit, she shows herself in a certain light and a certain esteem. She doesn't do that when it comes to hip-hop culture. That shit is really getting annoying, man, and it's becoming a lot more vibrant now than ever. But it's just time to go on ahead and let that shit go. Like, that shit is something that just needs to die out. Like, immediately. Immediately, man. But um, as far as uh, Shorty go... Man, listen, man, um, I'm at a point where, and this is coming from a man who is married to a, my my wife is Mexican and Guatemalan, but, you know, just, this shit is just something that has to be said, man, I'm, I'm really fed up with Latino women, really fed up with them, really fed up with them, not, in, you know, not including my wife, of course. My wife doesn't act like that. But a lot of Latino women, what they do is, you dig? I mean, they are elevated by black men. Now, all of a sudden, I, I've come across Spanish chicks who are straight up and down said, I don't like Latin dudes. The only type, the only type dude they'll fuck with is a black dude. So if you ain't, if you don't look, if you're not black, they not, it's, it's Spanish chicks who said they don't even like, you know, you know, they don't, if you speak Spanish, they won't even fuck with you. Like, yikes, bro. Sheesh, good God. But because of that, and because all right, niggas fuck with him because all right, cool. Well, you ain't, you ain't, you you not, you different. You not white. You not black. You but you damn sure ain't white. And you, it's a, the language barrier. That shit is sexy to a lot of bro. I was, I felt for that as well, man. I had, I had a serious Latina fetish for years. I definitely did. But um, one thing that has been really just, you know, a spotlight has been put on, you know, these Spanish chicks is this spicy Latina shit. What they think is cute, it's cool, it's sexy to watch a Spanish chick just wild out on you and just get ra- just drag out disrespectful, cuss you the fuck out in public, uh, 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 just get real, it, just get as ignorant as it can possibly be, and that's a you know a part of their sex appeal. They get to speaking to you in Spanish, they cussing you out in Spanish. That shit has never been cute to me. That shit is not cute. I'm not a fan of motherfuckers getting attitudes and shit and all the arguing because when you're that level, when you're that comfortable with just the chaotic behavior, just arguing amongst your significant other, eventually that's going to, they're going to, you know, be, you know, borders are going to start to get pushed. Borderlines are going to start to get pushed. So the arguing ain't enough. Eventually I'm going to start attacking your manhood and really just eviscerating you, your, your, your self-esteem and all of that shit. All of that shit is getting pushed. All of that, all of all boundaries are getting pushed to this, you know, to its outer limits. And there's a strength in words. There's a power in words. So eventually that could turn into some physical shit. Oh, this is my daughter out here. I'm almost home. I'll call you back. I'll see you in a minute, baby. But it's just getting to a point where it's like, I, oh, come on. Stupid ass fucking bird. God damn it. I hope I ain't running my fucking But it's just really gotten to a point where it's just, um, just where, you know, <laughs> They could get away with saying and doing certain shit because, you know, they can hide under the guise that they're not white. And now that this whole Afro-Latino movement is in full swing, 
they can just cling on to a fraction of blackness or African line African ancestry that they have to serve, you know, to bypass them being limbasted for the wild shit and bigoted and racist shit that they're saying. And I think that shit is completely run its course. It has completely run its course. It's real, it's real disgusting what this bitch set up there and said to that woman. It's real disgusting, you know, and I'm tired of it all. Well, you know, my, I, I, I have a black grandmother or and I, I have, you know, curly hair. My hair, you know, forms into an afro. So the fuck what? So the fuck what? I'm, I'm past tired of it, man. I'm, I'm past tired of the disrespect for our women. Even with me, when I did have the fetish for Latino women, I never denigrated and marginalized my own women. I would never do that. I found a woman who was worth a damn, and she just so happened to be a mestizo. But even with that, I never disrespected black women. Never. And it was to a point where they, you know, everybody in my hood would say, oh, man, he don't like, I, you know how many times I heard I don't like black women? Now, mind you, I don't, I don't have a laundry list of women that I dealt with. I don't. I don't. I've really only dealt with, I've only had one serious relationship, and that's the woman that I ended up marrying. But because we were together for so, we've been together for so long, it's like, yo, just, it's like, what else is, just, I, I don't, I don't know, you dig? I don't know. But because of that, because that turned, that, that, you know, that blossomed into what it is that we have now, that's allegedly all I like in the eyes of a lot of sisters. I'm like, that is not true. I've had, and I, I've had to, I've had to not go to bat, but, I'm like that. That's not true. That's not true. But my point is, I've never, I've never in my life berated black women to elevate Hispanic women. I've never done that. Even when I had a serious Jones for them, I never did. And a lot of brothers have done that. And with them doing that, they've gotten into this overt level of comfort where they feel they can do and say whatever the fuck they want. Shit that your average white man wouldn't be able to say or a white woman wouldn't be able to say without getting clapped at. This whole minority coalition where they're open. I mean, shit, man, when we look now, they get you, they use the word nigga freely and they'll sit there and run you down for, for correcting them. Like, bro, don't, don't say that shit around me. Now it's all my grandmother was, I have a black grandmother. Would you be surprised if I have a black, if I told you I had a black grandmother and, um, 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 all this where I grew up and this where I did. No, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear that shit. All from New York is just a New York thing. No, it's, it's not. It's not because it's just not Latinos who are using the word nigga freely. These Asian motherfuckers is using no nigga word freely, bro. It's just to a point where the risk, the respect factor for black people is completely out the window. And with them, they feel they can get away with it because they're not white. But I've even seen white Hispanics. I don't say I, I use that term real loosely, white Hispanics, because, you know, by a lot of people's estimation, my sister-in-law would be a white Hispanic. And it's like, no, she's just, she's lighter skin. You know who's a... Joaquin Phoenix is a white Hispanic. That's a white Hispanic. You dig what I'm saying? So, no, I don't... I don't... I use that term very loosely. White Hispanic. Unless I'm looking in the eyes of a Spaniard. And I've seen a Spanish motherfucker. Some little bitch... I'm from Puerto Rican. I'm from New York. I'm from Puerto Rican. Bitch, you was a, okay, cool. So the fuck what? You're a white woman. And that's really, and even with the, you know, oh man, Mexicans, nah, they can't say it, but the, the Dominicans and the Puerto Ricans, oh no, they black. They niggas. No, they, they're not. A lot of them are, absolutely. But you're not automatically black because you're Puerto Rican or Dominican or Cuban or whatever. I'm like, y'all niggas sound crazy as a motherfucker. But this is just the overt level of comfort that they've gotten to when it comes to, you know, you know, just disrespecting us. When you can go out your way, when you can just comfortably disrespect black people like that and just you just start making the monkey noises and shit like, yo, you've gotten to this is that's just like you need the teeth knocked out of your mouth. You need the teeth knocked out of your mouth. And she's going to find a way to revert back to a smidge of blackness that she has in her genetics. She's going to find a way to do that shit. She's going to find a way to do that shit because they all do that shit. The minute they start facing corrective action by black people for their anti-black rhetoric, they revert back to, oh, well, my grandmother is black. Well, well you know, I, I, I have nappy hair. And man, shut the fuck up, bitch. That shit is really annoying, bro. It's, it's, it's really annoying, it's disrespectful because you cannot 
you cannot get away with saying the shit that we that the that the vile shit that they say and do about us. We couldn't do that with them. Now we shouldn't want to do that to them. I'm not saying that we oh man we need to we need to match their energy. No, I think every everybody should be everybody should be respected. Everybody should be respected. Just because it's a you know a contingency of people disrespecting another demographic of people, that doesn't mean we go and you know start tearing down that entire demographic of people. My wife is Hispanic, like I said. My coaches are Hispanic. I got a lot of Latin, you know, Latino homeboys. You dig? So I'm not in the business of you know running motherfuckers down. I'm not in the business of doing that shit. I'm not. I can give I can give you corrective action immediately without desecrating your whole entire demographic your, your race your nationality i can do that because as i stated before if i call if if i jump out the window and call you a name call you a you know a, a, a racial a racial epithet a derogatory term that is immediately mm -hmm, confrontational with you and your people the hispanics that i fuck with are not gonna view it as oh well he's you know he said at first so you know it, he, see, he called him a nigga first, so he's justified in saying what it is that he said to him. No, the only thing that's going to resonate with them is the fact that I said what it is that I said. And I offended them. And they have a right to feel some type of, they will have a right to feel some type of way about that. So I don't want to be the nigga who's offending other, you know, other demographics of people. I don't want to be that dude. I don't want to be that dude. I don't want to be that dude. But in a, but if we being real, I've been in a position where I'm like, I wish I didn't have the moral compass that I have, so I can say that to y'all, so y'all can understand how that shit feels. The fact that I gotta explain myself as to why I'm uncomfortable with you saying nigga or whatever, I just think that shit is like, yo, is you serious right now? And how ridiculous it is when I'm the, when I'm expressing my level of uncomfortability towards you for using that word. You're expressing your level of uncomfortability towards me because I'm attacking you for using that word. Or I'm, 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 I'm pressing you. I'm, I'm giving you. I'm feeling some type of way about you using that word. It's just, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? It is just the weirdest shit in the world, man. But goddamn, this is where we at because we just allow motherfuckers to just get comfortable with this shit. So now saying nigga ain't enough. I can call you a blue monkey now. And start making the monkey noises too, because all I date is niggas. I'm so you know I'm I'm so entrenched within the black within black culture. I can just get away with saying whatever the fuck I want to say to you because I'm from it. I'm around it. I grew up around it. Nah, man. Nah, cancel firing that bitch ain't enough. It ain't enough. Sorry, not sorry. Firing that bitch is not enough. It got to be something a lot more strenuous than that, man. Like her pockets need to be filling it. I'm talking now. She she's on this two B. You know, she's an actress on all these two B movies and shit like that. Y'all need to go on ahead and cancel that shit all the way. Kick her off all of them shows. She should not be getting a bag. She should not be getting a bag. Even Fat Joe is trying diligently to stop saying the word nigga because of how you know just he's consistently getting attacked for it. I can respect that, you know, if, as, if, I just came across a clip of, you know, a, a sound clip of him, but he's bragging on saying, who's going to stop me from saying nigga? He said, nigga, 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 like what? I, I just, just, it's just like, they feel like they're entitled to say shit that they, that nobody else can say because they from the hood or whatever, fam. No, no. So this bitch to sit here and do all that, you know, you blue monkey or whatnot. Granted, was Shorty wrong for attacking her son? Yeah. She, she was wrong for saying that. She was wrong for saying that. But the level that she went to, because now at this point, you're not just attacking her. You called her a, a term that immediately raises a, certain, raises a certain level of anxiety within people who look like her. Me being included. You gonna date? If, I think at this point we need. If, if you are gonna date Spanish chicks and you are gonna date outside of your race, you need to start molding molding the minds of them motherfuckers to let it be known. All right, cool. Look, me and you can rock or whatever, but you are not about to sit here and say nigga in front. You are not about nah. That that nigga shit is out. Matter of fact, 
Don't even say that shit no more. Don't even say that shit no more. You're not about to say that nigga shit. That shit ain't, that, that shit dead. You're going to watch what it is that you say about me and my people. Like, you don't have to be, you, you don't have to be subject to mistreatment and disrespect because you're dating someone who isn't black. You don't got to, you know, your, your, your feelings and how you feel about someone saying something that's derogatory towards you and your people. You ain't supposed to numb that shit because you're dating outside of your race. I'm not a proponent of that. I've had people get mad at me because I'm like, I don't like Spanish motherfuckers saying nigga. As if my personal, my personal life choices, as far as who I get decided to get my last name to, dictates my feelings about Hispanics using the word nigga. Like, I never understood that, man. You, as, I don't know too many black men who would allow their white wives to call them a nigga. Or say nigga comfortably. I had one nigga say that. And I just was looking at just like, brother, you serious? He said, I'll let her say it freely. I'm like, what? Little white bitch. You dig? Like, y'all niggas is burnt the fuck out, bro. Burnt the fuck out. That shit is unacceptable, man. And when you, you it starts with nigga. It starts with nigga. It starts with just freely saying the word nigga. They not black because they from the hood. They not you not black because you Puerto Rican. You're not black because you Dominican. I remember once I went to Fair Deal up here some years ago, man. They was like, go oh, bring your wife. She black. She's one of us. And I'm thinking to myself, sisters, no, she's not. It's a black woman telling me this. They black too. No, she's not. I would never disrespect you by saying that I married a black woman. I'm not about to disrespect my mom, my aunt, my sisters, my relos, my grandparents. No, I'm not doing that. My guy, sister, no, it's not going to happen. I did not marry a black woman. My wife is not black. So I just, I think we really need to get to a point where it's like, yo, we stick, we take a stance on this shit, bro. Don't say that bullshit around me. Don't say that bullshit in general. Because I can't greet you in brotherhood by way of a racial epithet. I can't do that shit without getting clapped at for it. As I said, if I did decide to do it. This motherfucker right here, blue monkey. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, oh, oh, yeah, word. We on that type of time. Okay. Okay. Completely disrespectful. Completely disrespectful. Completely disrespectful. All these little Spanish shit go, they go on this love and hip hop show. Nigga just fly out their mouth, and we just supposed to sit there and eat that shit. We supposed to just sit there and eat that. Nah, nigga, nah, nigga, nah. Fuck, that shit is not cute. I'm from the Bronx, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from Harlem, Spanish Harlem. Fuck out of it. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't. I grew up with black women and this and that and the third. All your mannerisms, everything about you says that of a, you are trying to, you are trying to, you know, fit the caricature of a black woman. That everything about you says that shit just for you to turn around and disrespect us like that. hand gestures, the mannerisms of a black woman, but you can't even respect a black woman when you're in, in, a, in the heat of an altercation. All the black women, all the black women this bitch got in her, as her, you know, as, as, as loved ones, you could sit there and talk that bullshit with your black kids. I can't think of no Spanish dudes that you done had kids with. I don't watch that show like that. I, I, like, I watch the dumbass toxic shit just to see some, some drama shit on there. That's where it stops at. I'm not tuning in to watch that shit, though. I'll go right to YouTube and look up some goofy shit. But to my knowledge, you ain't got no Spanish dudes on deck. All your dudes is black dude. Them is niggas. Which means you and you didn't had babies by these dudes. So you got black babies. And you would disrespect your black babies by saying some dumb shit like that. Fuck out of here. I'm tired of Spanish chicks, bro. I'm tired of the overt comfort level of comfort that they have when it comes to disrespecting us. We just supposed to sit there and be okay with disrespect. We're supposed to be okay and accepting of degradation. I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood. I'm, I grew up. You don't know how I grew up. I don't give a fuck how you grew up. That does that's that's not an excuse to me. That's a non sequitur. Do not bring that bullshit over here. I grew up like this and that. No, it's that's not an excuse to me. You know what you're saying. So stop saying it. But I'm all for canceling that little bitch. Let's get her the fuck up out of here. 
Peace to spice, man. I'm out here. Deuces.